Hello, it's Matt from GAK, and today we are looking at the new Orange Crush range. So this marks the first time that Orange have kind of really delved into the solid state side of things. They've, you know, they've done barrel amps for a long time, and they have some smaller practice amps. And the reason they've waited so long to do something maybe that you could use in a gig as well as just at home um, is they really wanted to get the sound and the look right. So the main thing is, is they really wanted them to look like their bigger brothers, the rocker verbs. But looks aren't everything, and obviously it's got to sound good. So the main thing is what they've tried to do with the solid state technology in this is make something that reacts and sounds like a normal valve amplifier. So with anything, you know, as you turn it up, especially with the valve amp, the more you turn it up, the more it starts to break up, the harder the valve's starting to work. They replicate similar technology in these. They use like a two gain stage um, section for both the clean and the drive. So what you have on the face of it, you have three different models. You have a 120 watt head, a 120 watt combo, and a 60 watt combo as well. They all feature the same controls, clean channel volume with treble and bass, and a dirty channel with gain and volume, and then treble, middle, and bass. You've then got volume, um, which is your master, and then a reverb, spring, hall, and plate, and that's the same across the board. It's just that in uh, the 120s, obviously you've got 120 watts power, and see 60 watts in the smaller ones. Just a 112 in there, and then this one, you've got a 212. So um, with the head as well, you can plug that into uh, any cab. These are 16 ohms, so you could run it into an orange PPC 412, or a 212, or even a little 112. So what we'll do is we'll plug them in, we'll go through a few of the sounds, and uh, go from there. Cool, so here we are with the front panel. Fairly self-explanatory, really. Obviously, your clean channel here, so volume, bass, and treble. And then, obviously, we've got your dirty channel here. Switch for the two, but it is foot switchable around the back. And then you've got three different types of reverb, so plate, hall, and spring. So we'll start off on the clean channel. I've got the volume sort of fairly cranked up, so it's just gonna start sounding a little bit warmer. Um, still kind of a home use level, but you know, once you get a little bit up here, obviously you can start getting into sort of gigging territory as well. So this is totally clean uh, with no reverb on, on a neck pickup on a 72 Tele Deluxe. <laughs> So let's add a little bit of reverb into that. So we'll start with a classic spring and we'll just keep it just under at halfway. So you can see kind of big, quite Fender-like. And obviously you can go all the way into kind of the realms of the ridiculous. loads of decay. Obviously you can go into some of your bigger sort of hall sounds. And then you've got your plate sounds which a little bit more of that when we get to the drive channel. So just quickly again, then we're down to the, down to a spring and we'll use the bridge pickup just so you get an idea of, uh, you know, the nice bright sounds you get from it. Cool, so now we're gonna have a look at the drive channel. So fairly similar controls as like I said, you see on the rocker verb. So you've got your gain, your full tone stack, bass, middle and treble, and then your volume here as well. Both obviously will interact with your master volume and your reverb. So let's uh, switch over to the dirty channel. So that's um, with the gain on full, so that's kind of your classic sort of orange sort of rocker sound. Right? So 
really fat and warm. We've not got the bass turned up too much, but if we get a little bit more treble, we'll get a little bit of sharpness for it. So you can, as you can hear, that's kind of a real classic and traditional orange sound, but you know, just without the valves. So what we'll do is we'll wind the gain down a little bit and we'll turn on uh, a little bit more of the plate reverb, which is kind of going to give you a little bit more of that sort of classic sort of 70s reverb. So then you work going to the realms of kind of a Van Halen sort of... That's going to create a nice uh, pedal um, platform as well. So if you plug any sort of pedals into it, you know it's going to work really well. And then if we go down to a spring, and we'll just show you how sort of reactive it is to your volume control. So we we'll wind the game back up. That's on the bridge pickup on full volume. As we start to bring it down, you ultimately get something that's, uh, you know, a little cooler sounding, a little bit uh, more overdriving. And then as we start to wind up the volume, so you've almost got light rhythm. And it'll work with down tune styles as well. So there you have it, that's um, the kind of the two sides to uh, the new Orange uh, Crush series. Obviously there's a lot more we could go into, but that's a good idea of what sort of sounds you're going to get. I think you'll agree that that's a real nice kind of valve S tone for something that is totally solid state and obviously going to be nice and reliable for gigging and perfect for recording home use without having to turn the volume up too much.